Well, we've seen what's happening in Sydney today. Australia Day celebrations also taking place in Melbourne. And while there won't be a parade, there's a string of activities on offer for those wanting in on the action. Let's go to Georgia Simpson at Fed Square. Georgia, what can people expect today? Well, Pete, from about 10 o'clock this morning, the iconic Federation Square here in Melbourne will start filling up with people for the reflect, respect and celebrations that are happening here today. There's a number of free, family-friendly events, lots of workshops. There'll be live music and delicious food trucks. You can probably see behind me here this art installation that is being put together by Glenn and Chloe. It's called Reflect, and we might actually get Glenn over here to come and explain what it's about. Glenn, this is called Reflect or Reflections, is that right? Yeah, Reflection, and it's about about um, getting people to come in to reflect on themselves, to reflect on the day and reflect on their year um, or anything else they want to reflect on and add their drawing to this ever-evolving gallery. And how long has it taken to put together this morning? Oh, it's taken about an hour and a half, um, but it's been a beautiful morning and, um, yeah, we're having a great time. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. So this installation <laughs> reflections is here at Federation Square. People can come down and have a squiggle. It's beautiful, it's vibrant, it's colourful, it's bright and it's reflective. From about 7.30 tonight as well, Pete, here, the big screens will be fired up so people can come and watch the women's semi-finals at the Australian Open. As you mentioned, the traditional Australia Day parade has been cancelled this year, but mm. a number of other Australia Day traditions will still be taking place, like the official flag-raising ceremony at Government House at 9.15 and the official Australia Day salute at 11 o'clock at the Shrine of Remembrance. So still a bit happening here in Melbourne. Federation Square, definitely the place to be and we'll be able to keep you updated on all the action as the morning goes on.